Hey everybody, welcome to Fatso Radio. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? In this episode of Fatso Radio and every episode of Fatso Radio is brought to you by Volpe Martial Arts. Volpe Martial Arts is KW's hottest, newest Kung Fu and Hapkido school. My brother, Sifu Adam, brings you his lifelong passion, lifelong dream, lifelong love of the sport, love of community, love of the village to your door, to his door, VolpeMartialArts.com. For more details, it's on Gage, it's in Kitchener. Check it out, VolpeMartialArts.com. My brother, Sifu Adam Volpe. Check it out. Folks, tonight, another episode of Fatso Radio, number episode number 156. And tonight, I talk about the host being sold. And I'm so happy about that. We're so happy about that. We're so blessed. Everything is going smoothly, and I want to continue to go smoothly. Three things I want to pack, focus in. I'm going to purge. I'm going to pack. I'm going to pray. Support the truckers. Support everybody. Support Frontline everywhere. Whether in a march, whether you're not in a march, whether you're mentioned, whether you're not mentioned, I'm going to support you. Whether you're vaxxed, whether you're not vaxxed, I'm going to support you. Whether you're working, whether you've been fired, whether you're still working, I'm going to support you. Everybody who's been working through this, this is a hard, hard time. We've all been through some hard times. You and I included, I'm sure. I love you all. Faso Radio. Faso Radio at gmail.com. Lily, take it away. Faso Radio. Bye-bye. Fatso, Fatso, the really great podcast show. Fatso, Fatso, the very, very first podcast, podcast show. show. Uh-huh. Hey, everybody, welcome to Fatso Radio. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? This episode of Fatso Radio and every episode of Fatso Radio is brought to you by Volpe Martial Arts. Volpe Martial Arts is KW's hottest. Nope, I did that wrong. Hey, everybody, welcome to Fatso Radio. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? This episode of Fatso Radio and every episode of Fatso Radio is brought to you by Volpe Martial Arts. Volpe Martial Arts is KW's hottest, newest Kung Fu and Hapkido school. My brother, Sifu Adam, brings you his lifelong passion, lifelong experience, lifelong love of martial arts, the community of people, family, friends, and it all brings it to you five days a week. Check it out, VolpeMartialArts.com. Folks, welcome back to Fatso Radio. This is episode number 156. And if this is your first episode, First time joining on or joining, listening, watching. Hello, if you're watching uh, or listening. Thank you for joining Fatso Radio. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Fatso Radio is a podcast dedicated to speaking about my journey, my experience through fat loss, through weight loss, through um, cancer journey, through nutritional battles, through diet experiments, through everything, just questioning everything. But also it's, it's kind of my way of speaking and my way of getting my word out and other people's words out and the news or whatever we I feel like talking about. And tonight is no different, folks. I want to get back to uh, just a little bit on the kind of update of what's going on with my house. Sold. Happy to say we sold. And um, we are moving to Sault Ste. Marie. So we're in Kitchener right now. Sold our house. We're moving to Sault Ste. Marie in March. Uh, very, very happy. Like I said, it was on the market for four days. Uh, we have a bunch of viewings, 20, 22 viewings, I think it was. Um, which was a lot, you know, in a few days. So, you know, the kids were going to school when they're not school. They were, you know, we were going to my dad's house. We were going to their parents' house. We were in and out. We we're all over the place. It was good. It was busy for a couple of days, but it was worth it because after four days, we had an offer come in, bully offer, whatever you want to call it, but we had an offer come in and uh, over asking price. So we took it. It was very fair. It was, it hit our number, what we needed to hit. Uh, I mean, what the question these days in that market, in this crazy market is, well, what's your number you need to make? Well, What's your number? I mean, if it was 20 years ago, your number would be a lot different than what it is today. And if it was 30 years ago or 40 years ago, like my dad keeps on reminding me about the 70s and the 80s on how interest rates were so high and prices of houses were so different. And I get it. It's 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 insane. It's a crazy world. Without getting into any details, we're happy. It's fair, and that's all we need to say. It gives us an opportunity to uh, just not get you not get not get hosed, right? And that's the whole idea. You don't want to get ever um, just ripped off, and that's it. No one got ripped off. It was great. So. So now what do we need to do? We're very happy with that. Very, very happy. But the idea now is we got to get ready. We got to do, and two main things basically is purging and and packing. So purging, which I love to purge at the same time. I do like to, I'm a bit of a pack rat on some, in some regards, I guess there's some things I just don't like to get rid of. I'll bring them to one house. I'll bring them to another house. Maybe even if I don't really use them ever, I just like to keep them just in case I do, or just in case we, do something again and re redo a room or whatever the case may be. I like to keep some stuff, but it's a good time to purge. It's a good time to get rid of the stuff that you don't need, that I don't need, that we don't need. 
um, and, and kind of reorganize. And, uh, you know, during the, during the, the setup of the house or during the, the cleanup, the, the prep of the house rather, uh, to selling it, you know, I, I had a chance to get reorganized as well because you have to get reorganized if you're going to purge. You have to get reorganized if you're going to kind of clean up. You're going to kind of re the first step I think is to get reorganized, and then you can do whatever you need to do. But um, so this is another chance now to purge a little bit more, which is great because I can I can dive a little deeper. Actually, I can dive completely all the way deep into all the boxes, all the stuff that you have in storage. You know, for the for the house prep and for the walkthrough and for the pictures, I had to make sure everything was show ready, make sure the house looked okay in cameras, but in the cupboards didn't look that great right so in the cupboards we're getting everything ready to move so i'm going to pack everything and get them in boxes get everything out out of the cupboards get everything into the floors get everything into the rooms uh, out of the cupboards out of the closets out of everything because when it's moving day boom i want to go 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 so thanks to canada post <laughs> this is not an advertisement for canada post believe me thanks to canada post on kind of helping me and teaching me how to load and unload and pack and all that stuff and you know it's uh, it's kind of a joke but um, just being efficient is crazy is everything right it's just prepared be preparing be prepared is everything uh, having having an idea of what you're doing and just having a plan is, is everything so after I'm going to um, purge of course we're going to pack pack in the house same idea you know I mean we don't have a lot of stuff to look around in my, my house my studio we don't have a lot of stuff we don't have a lot of art at all uh, maybe maybe boring for the stages they have to actually bring in art to bring in pillows we don't have normally have that many pillows um, but it's good because when it's time to move it's just a bunch of furniture and a bunch of beds and I guess that's furniture and that's it it's time to go a bunch of boxes and clothes and stuff like that so not that much stuff I do have a huge oven in front of the basement I'm going to be moving a uh, commercial oven which is like you know I like to move it. <laughs> I'm going to move it. I mean, I, I, we, we like to move it because we like it so much and we use it so much. Um, but that's basically a heavy thing that we're going to be uh, loading up, bringing up the stairs. Uh, I have a dolly, so that won't be too bad. Um, and then, you know, beds and all that stuff won't be too bad. We're getting the big truck and it, it should be good. So that's it. Purge, pack, and then pray. I have pray here not <laughs> written down for myself to remember because I'm praying for good luck. I'm praying for good weather. Um, moving to Sault Ste. Marie, you know, it's in March. So it's not like there's no snow in March. There's a lot of snow in March. Sometimes there's a ton of snow. Sometimes um, it's arguably the best snow of the year. It, everything, anything can happen in March. You know, there's a March break and it's always, we've always had snow. Sometimes no snow, of course, but oftentimes there's snow up there. Uh, maybe the last couple of years there haven't been snow, but there's quite often snow. So praying for good weather, praying that uh, everything goes smooth with our move because, you know, things can happen. But you know, if uh, good karma is anything, um, just just want to kind of you know send the good vibes out there and hope that it does go well. The people that are buying our house, hope them. I wish them well. The people that we bought their house, our house from the new house, I wish you guys well in your in your endeavor. Um, and lastly, I just want to pray for um, and and give a shout out to the truckers. You know, there's a lot of people who feel may feel divided about this. I probably not very many of my listeners are going to be uh, you know divided about this. I'm assuming that most of my listeners are probably either going to feel either neutral about this or maybe supportive. I hope you're supportive of, uh, about this. Um, I hope you're supportive about this because it's supporting the truckers. It's supporting the truckers versus the government. And I don't, I know that this is going to be easily lost and, you know, the nuances is, in, is easily lost, but some people easily say, and the first thing you can easily say is, well, what, what's the reason? You don't understand their reason and what their, re or maybe their reason is not genuine enough or their reason doesn't align with what I think there should be reason is. There's a lot of different reasons why people are up there. For everybody individually, it's their own reason because it must be that way because we can't all believe in the same thing. We don't all believe in the same thing. We certainly don't believe in all in the same thing, in the same passion, in the same amount, right? In the same amount of energy. We don't all bring that same amount of energy, same amount of lo uh, love or, or, or even anger to, to a protest or to a speaking or anything. So I understand when people are saying, well, you know, uh, the message has changed or the message, I don't agree with the original message. Well, what's, what's the original message? I don't know. All I know is a lot of people are binding together. A lot of people are bounding together. A lot of people are getting together and getting their truck and getting supported, not only in their trucks, driving through Canada, but getting supported and having supported people cheering and people clapping and people going down to the bridges and the overpasses and honking and waving and cheering and, and, and waving flags. And this is not, this is not fake. You know, the government uh, in cahoots with obviously the media story in cahoots with the government, the media, the CBC, especially, left wing of the government, it's not going to show, you know, it's not going to show the numbers, the tens of thousands of wherever people that are there, they're going to say there's 50,000, they're going to say maybe, sorry, there's a, there's a hundred, a couple thousand, 
there's going to be tens of thousands. There's probably already 50,000. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of people there along the way when they get to Ottawa, but also along the way. And I hope it's shown in the media. I hope the media has no choice but to expose it. Um, I just hope they expose the truth of it. And the truth is that it's going to be complicated. Everybody has a different reason, I'm sure, like everything else. But I think the reason is, hey, my reason would be, hey, that's enough of this bullshit. We need to stop. We need to stop these mandates. We need to stop with this crazy um, um, tyrannical mandates that change all the time and um, almost seem arbitrary at this point. And we seem to get back to life. We seem to get back to life. If you're vaccinated or not, it doesn't matter. Just go back to life. If you get COVID, okay. If you don't, okay. Do what you got to do. That's just the best way it is. People are living now. Like treat, We should be treating everybody like they're double vaxxed. Everybody like they're double vaxxed. That's how we should be treating everybody. Better than that. We should be treating everybody like they're double vaxxed and everybody like they're double vaxxed and they have their passport with them and they've had immunity now. They've already got COVID and have natural immunity now. We need to treat everybody with the best case scenario because that's the only way we'll get back to normal because that's the only way you're going to encourage uh, brothers or neighbors and, and colleagues now to treat the other person like or their own colleague because I'm telling you, the government and the media, with the government, because they've had the government as their backup, saying divide 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 if you're not with us <coughs> if you're not with us you're against us and that's the only way it's going to get back to normal is if you start if they start treating everybody the same open up the doors we don't care your back status it's private go back to your health care your health needs your health decisions being private and that's how we get out of this mess I don't know. I love everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching another short episode here. Um, but I want to get back more in the diet again. I'm getting, getting back in track again. It's hard when, especially when you have a lot of, well, I mean, it's always when you have a lot of shit on the goal, right? Your life gets busy and you fall off track, but I'm going to get back in again. I'm going to get back into some sort of a, a more regular workout again. I still do the 20, 20, 20 pushups, crunches and squats, but I want to do more of um, kind of formal, um, uh, you know, um, traditional, more exercise, more traditional type exercises and see if I can even, um, you know, dabble around in bodybuilding a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but moving, getting my body in shape and, and staying in shape. That's the key. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. It is January 28th. Wow. Now the end of another month, uh, February is coming folks. And I love you all. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. Thoughts radio at gmail.com. If you want to be on the show, let me know. If you want to be uh, I want to show your beautiful face. Let me know if you want to uh, share your beautiful voice. Let me know uh, if you want to sing, dance, play music, whatever. Just want to be on the show. Let me know. I'm going to be home in Sault Ste. Marie, back to Sault Ste. Marie in a couple months, another month and a bit. Um, and I'm going to be taking the show on the road there, virtually, of course, but on locally as well. Try to get uh, dabbling with a little more of the local content. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And Violet's going to say thanks so much for everybody. I love you. Let's say bye to everybody. Bye. And we'll say thanks for listening. Say thanks for listening. Bye bye. That's so radio, the really great podcast show. That's so radio, the really great podcast show. So get your butt and get in your chair. Don't eat your nails and don't pull your hair. We'll talk about chicken or talk about sake. We'll talk about fat for goodness sake. That's so, that's so, the really great podcast show. That's so, that's so, the very first podcast, podcast show. show.